Now, his real name was Prince Rogers Nelson, but he was known as Prince, confirmed to have passed away at his home today at this studio and housing compound he had in Minnesota. The cause of death, I need to remind you, has still not yet been determined, but last week Prince had been on a flight home from Atlanta when the pilot was forced to make an emergency landing in Illinois so that the artist could be rushed to the hospital. He was complaining of difficulty breathing. Prince was one of the best-selling artists of all time. Look at the business of Prince, a hundred million albums sold, but the accolades went much further than that. Rolling Stone ranked him number 27 on their list of 100 greatest artists of all time. Seven Grammy Awards, folks. He had a Golden Globe, an Academy Award. Yes, he won an Oscar. He was the first artist to have a number one movie, number one single, and number one album all at the same time. One of our own here at Fox, New Prince. Lauren Green, did you know that? Lauren grew up in the same neighborhood in Minnesota. This has got to be so hard for you. You knew him. It's shocking on so many different levels because I knew him as a kid that I grew up with. Yeah. And he wasn't Prince when I grew up with him. He, he, his cousin lived in the same block as my cousin, and I kind of knew him because we played in the same circles. But I wasn't close to him. And then we went to the same schools. We went to the same grade school, the same high school. Um, he didn't become Prince until later, and I realized, oh my gosh, he's like famous. That's I know that guy. guy. That's the guy. I know that guy. You know? And he is, he was such a consummate musician, but he also was a great businessman. And I think that his, his persona on the stage showed that he understood the industry well enough to know how to, how to get the best out of it. And that's why he was so helpful to other artists, so that he could help them uh, rise to the stage as well. A lot of people don't know he was five foot two. He was five foot two, which is odd when you talk, when we actually talk, because he was... <laughs> How tall are you? I'm, You're five very... foot, I'm five foot ten. <laughs> but, but he really was a very, he was very a tiny man, but you will never see that on the stage. Oh, he's so much bigger than he life. He looks like, exactly bigger than life. And I also know that at Paisley Park, the studios, where you're the company you're talking about, he had a whole wardrobe department with patterns that he, they would make all of his clothes and his shoes, so that he really had custom made a wardrobe that made him look... Um, larger than life. Well, uh, again, I used that word original. I added it to the script because I thought, for, <laughs> for me, Prince was such an original, so unique, only one of a kind. He didn't knock off anybody else. Everybody tried to knock off him. But, you know, he had all these songs and he went through different e eras in his music. Certainly, 1999 is completely different right, from right, Purple right. Let Rain. My personal fa favorite was Raspberry Beret. <laughs> Were you in one of his videos? I was in the music video called My Name is Prince, which you can probably YouTube it if you found the longer version of Paint. I think it might still be on. Out there, but I played a newscaster. I didn't. I was not in a skimpy <laughs> outfit dancing around on the stage. I was actually very typecast. I was a newscaster. You would have been fine either way. But yeah. <laughs> your favorite song, because knowing him, might give you a different prism through which you're looking. My favorite was always Purple Rain. I, I felt Purple Rain was always the one that spoke most about who he was and what he hoped for his life. Um, he was just a wonderful product of Minnesota, and he loved Minnesota. And, and stayed it's a, there. And stayed there. And that's a testament to the culture of Minnesota, because he's not the only one who stayed there. Jimmy Jam and Terry Lewis, who also built Flight Time Recording Studio, who also produced much of the, a lot of uh, Janet Jackson's albums, they stayed there as well. There are other people who stayed there, too, because of the, the rich culture of music in Minnesota. Not just pop music, but classical music as well. Lauren Green, wow, you, you really have a, a link to him that is so much more than a gossamer thread, but we're, we're sorry for your loss and for, for the loss of Prince. I'm sorry, loss. I'm sorry for Minnesota for its loss because he was probably the most famous person to come out of Minnesota. Lauren Green of Fox News, thank you so much. We appreciate it.